Hi, in this video, I'm going to discuss about the properties of real numbers. There are laws and properties of real numbers that are useful in solving problems and equations. They provide equivalent formulas in solving equations and inequality. First, we have closure properties. The closure property of addition states that every pair of real numbers has a unique one and only one sum, which is also a real number. That is a plus b equals r or real number, which is a unique number. To understand more about closure property, let's have this illustration. If a equals 4 and b equals 5, then 4 plus 5 equals 9. 9 is a unique real number, which is the sum of 4 and 5 and nothing else. Next, we have the closure property of multiplication, which states that each pair of a real numbers has a unique product, which is also a real number. We have a times b equals r, where r is a real number and a unique number. Let us take this illustration. If a equals 10 and b equals negative 3, then 10 times negative 3 is negative 30. Negative 30 is a unique real number, which is the product of 10 and negative 3 and nothing else. Next, we have the commutative property. The commutative property of addition states that adding two or more numbers will give the same sum regardless of the order of the numbers. That is, the sum of a plus b is equal to the sum of b plus a. Let us take this illustration. If a equals 5 and b equals 12, then the sum of 5 and 12 is equal to the sum of 12 and 5. The commutative property of multiplication states that multiplying two or more numbers will give the same product regardless of the order of the numbers. That is, the product of A and B is equal to the product of B and A. For example, if A equals negative 17 and B equals negative 2, then negative 17 times negative 2 is equal to negative 2 times negative 17. The associative property. The associative property of addition states that the sum of two or more numbers will not change regardless of the grouping of the numbers. So A plus the sum of B and C is equal to A plus B plus C. For example, if A equals 7, B equals Then, 7 plus the quantity 8 plus 3 equals the quantity 7 plus 8 plus 3. Next, we have the associative property of multiplication, which states that two or more numbers will give the same product regardless of the grouping of the numbers. So we have A times B times C.
is 63 and 9 times 5 is 45. 63 plus 45 equals 108. Multiplication is distributive over subtraction. We have A times quantity B minus C equals AB minus AC for left-hand distribution. And the quantity B minus C times A is also equal to AB minus AC for right-hand distribution. For example, if A equals 2, B equals 3, and C equals 4, then 2 times quantity 3 minus 4 equals 2 times 3 minus 2 times 4. Since 2 times negative 1, that is 3 minus 4 is negative 1, equals negative 2. And 2 times 3 is 6, minus 2 times 4 is 8, so 6 minus 8 equals negative 2. The multiplicative property of 0. The product of any real number and 0 is 0. That is, a times 0 equals 0. For example, if a equals 64, then 64 multiplied with 0 is 0. The addition property of equality. The addition property of equality states that adding the same number to each side of an equation will result in an equivalent equation. If A minus B equals C, then adding B to both sides of the equation, that is A minus B plus B equals C plus B, or A equals C plus B. For example, if A equals 11, B equals 7, and C equals 4, that's 11 minus 7 equals 4. Then, 11 minus 7 plus 7 equals 4 plus 7 is true. Since 11 minus 7 plus 7 equals 11, and 4 that's from 11 minus 7 is 4, plus 7 is also equal to 11. The subtraction property of equality. The subtraction property of equality illustrates that subtracting both sides of the equation with the same number will not change the equality. If A plus B equals C, then, subtracting B to both sides of the equation, we have A plus B minus C equals C minus B. Or, A equals C. For example, if A equals 45, B equals 14, and C equals 58, we have 45, 45 plus 14 equals then, 45 plus 13 minus 30 is equal to 58 minus 13. Since, 45 plus 13 minus 13 equals 35. And, 45 plus 13 is 58 minus 13 is also 45. We have the multiplication property of equality. The multiplication property of equality states that if the same non-zero number is multiplied to each side of an equation, the result is an equivalent equation. If A times B equals C and B is not equal to zero, then A, B times B equals C times B. For example, if A equals 26, B equals negative 2, and C equals negative 52, we have 26 times negative 2 equals negative 52. Following the pattern, A times B equals C. Then, 
26 times negative 2 times negative 2 equals negative 52 times negative 52 is true. Since quantity 26 times negative 2 times negative 2 equals 104 and 26 times negative 2 is negative 52 times 2, negative 2 is equal to 104. The division property of equality. The division property of equality illustrates that dividing both sides with the same non-zero number will not change the equality. If AB equals C and B is not equal to zero, then AB divided by B is equal to C over B or a equals C over B. To understand more about this, let's have this illustration. If A equals 5, B equals 12, and C equals 60, we have 5 times 12 equals 60. Then, 5 times 12 divided by 12 equals 60 divided by 12 is true. We are dividing 12 to both sides of the equation. Since 5 times 12 divided by 12 equals 5, 5 is from the result of 60 divided by 12. And 60, that's from 5 times 12, is 60 divided by 12 is also equal to 5. The substitution property of equality. The substitution property implies that if A is equal to a certain number b, then a can be substituted for b in any equation, or the number b can be substituted by a in any equation. For example, if a equals b and a equals c, then b is also equal to c. If a equals b and b then A is also equal to C. For example, if A equals 4 plus 2, B equals 7, and C equals 2 plus 1, we have 4 plus 3 equals 7, that's A equals 7. And 4 plus 3 equals 2 plus 1. Then, 7 equals 2 plus We have the reflexive property of equality. The reflexive property shows that a number is equal to itself. So that is A is also equal to A. For example, if A equals 26, then 26 equals 26. We have the symmetric property of equality. The symmetric property states that interchanging the sides of the equation will not change the relationship. If A plus B equals C, then C equals A plus B. For example, if A equals 45, B equals negative 8, and C equals 37, we have 45 plus negative 8 equals 37. Then, 37 equals 45 plus negative 8. The transitive property of equality. The transitive property of equality states that two numbers equal to the same number are equal to each other. If A equals B, and B equals C, then A equals C. For example, if A equals 73, B equals 16 plus 57, and C equals 75 minus 2, we have 73 equals 16 plus 57, that's from A equals B, and 16 plus 57, which is our B, is equal to 75 minus 2, which is our C. 
Then, 73 equals 75 minus 2 is true. That's from A equals C. Since 75 minus 2 equals 73.